Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I would like to share 10 plus tips, tricks, and hidden features for your new and shiny Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Whether you already own a Samsung Galaxy Note 8 and want to enhance your experience off your phone or want to become an owner, this video will showcase some of the fantastic capabilities of this Titan. So let's dive in and discover. Now before that, however, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you do use Instagram or Twitter, make sure to follow me on both at Saki Tech Online. All right, let's go. All right, so the first thing I wanna customize is the navigation bar at the bottom over here. As you can see, there's a back button, there's a home button, and also there is a recent key button. Now what you wanna do is you wanna go into the settings, then you wanna go into the display, and then scroll down to where it says navigation. It's gonna be right there, navigation bar. You tap on the navigation bar and you have a slew of options here that you can modify. Now the first thing is, of course, you can change the background color. Now, as you can see, I have a light purple here, but you can switch between these colors and they will uh, change as you select them on the screen, okay? So you can pick the one that you like. Uh, let me keep it at the yellow one over here. And the number two thing I would immediately change for future use is the button layout at the bottom here. So when you tap this guy, it allows you to actually switch the back key with the recent key. So if I tap this, the back key go, goes over here. So if I tap this, it goes back. Um, let me go back in there. And uh, the recent key goes over here. If you tap this guy, you get the, uh, the multitasking pane from, from where you can select apps and go into the multitasking mode. Now, I prefer to have it this way, so I'll keep it just like that. I want the back key over here. Now, if you look at the bottom here carefully, there's a black dot. When that black dot is actually a dot, it is actually active. So what that allows to happen is that actually allows the navigation bar to persist at all screens, okay? So no matter what app you launch, uh, no matter what website you go to, you will always see this navigation bar at the bottom. If you want a full screen experience without the distraction of this button, what you would do is you would enable this option on the top that says show and hide button. So I can actually disable that or enable that. Once it is enabled, I can double tap to disable this navigation bar. Actually not disable it, but hide it. So let me double tap. And as you can see, it is now actually hidden. And I get a more immersive experience. I actually get to see the full screen without any distractions. Of course, at any time, I can pull that thing up. And of course, if I wanna re-enable the bar, I can just pull that up, double tap, and it gets re-enabled and it's permanently attached on this line. Again, it's a matter of choice. Now, as you enable or disable this, you can actually tap on here. So if you tap here, it actually turns off that button completely. You don't even have the option to hide it or bring it back up. So enable that, and if you tap this, you can assign it individually to the apps that you choose, okay? So it's really, really customizable if you so desire. So not only can you have it on, you can also choose what applications it actually applies to, okay? So let's go back, just keep that in mind. And finally over here, it says hard press home button, okay? So I don't know if you guys are aware of it, but the home button here is actually a button that can sense the pressure that you're pressing the screen with. And if you tap this over here, so you can actually just disable that or enable it, right? So that's uh, the home button right there. You can hard press it, you can enable or disable the hard press functionality. If you disable that, this is not pressure sensitive anymore. If you enable it, it is now pressure sensitive. So if you tap on this, you can get to pick the levels. So how hard uh, do you wanna press to activate that button? Okay, so you can do light press or you can do very strong press. That means you really have to press down on it. So let's just keep it at the medium. And uh, correlating to that option is this one. This one says unlock with home button. So basically if you enable this, and let's say you don't have a lock screen enabled, so let me turn off the phone really quick. So the phone is turned off, but it does have the always on display enabled that I'm gonna talk about in a minute. But right now, all I have to do is press and hold this home button, and it's gonna lock the screen and go straight to the home screen, okay? I mean, unlock the screen. So normally, if I didn't have that option enabled, the one we were just talking about, let me go back to display. 
scroll all the way down, go to the navigation bar. So if I did not have this button enabled, I could have still pressed the home button, but it would not have taken me to the home screen. It would have taken me to the lock screen. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So let me disable this thing, go back home, turn off the phone again. And this time when I press and hold on this thing, it takes me to the lock screen from where I can unlock, all right? But if I had that option enabled, let me go back, oops, go to display, go to uh, navigation bar, and then go over here and enable that. Anytime I press this button, if I don't have a pin number or any other security, it goes straight to the home page, bypassing the lock screen. All right, so those are the navigation bar tactics. Let's move on to the next set of tips. All right, so this is the Note 8, so it comes with an S Pen, and of course I'm gonna have at least one tip in here that pertains to the S Pen. So I'm gonna show you guys the Air Command menu right here. And if you tap the Air Command menu, it brings up this uh, rotating menu that you can access, okay? I just wanna let you guys know that this rotating menu is in fact customizable, fully customizable. So what you wanna do is you wanna go into the settings over here, and then, Go to where it says shortcuts under air command, tap it, and here you can actually add or remove shortcuts from the air command menu. Now, if you, if you look at all these guys over here, these are the actual uh, items that I put into my air command. So if I bring, so if I go back out and if I bring up the air command, these things will be exactly identical to what you just saw at that bar over here. So you can actually remove these, okay, and you can replace them with your favorite apps or your favorite S Pen features. The S Pen features will be on the top and the apps and functions will be at the bottom, okay? So you can have up to 10 items in your Air Command menu. So for example, if I tap on Calculator, it goes right there. If I tap on Calendar, it goes right there. And then let's see what we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, 10. So that's uh, one more actually. Let's put the clock. So we have a maximum of 10 uh, items in the air command menu. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So if I go back out there, bring it up, you'll see the same things I just added, the calculator, calendar, camera, clock. And again, remember, go back to the settings. Oops. Go to the settings, go to shortcuts, and from here, on the top, you've got the S Pen features. At the bottom, you've got all the other apps and functions. Fantastic. And of course, you can either tap this menu here to bring up the Air Command, or you can just press the button on the side of your phone, and that will bring up the Air Command as well. All right, let's move on to the next tip. Now, as you can see, if you look at the bottom here, you don't see a traditional app drawer icon. So what you, you would have to do to access the drawer is to swipe up anywhere on the screen or even swipe down, all right? Now, what if you want to see the actual app drawer instead of five apps? You could enable it uh, if you miss it. So just press and hold on the screen, then go into home screen navigation, I mean home screen settings over here, and then over here it says apps button, tap on it and simply say show apps button. Click apply, now when you go back out, you're actually gonna have an apps button and you can click on it, it's gonna bring your app drawer, all right? So you can still swipe up and down, uh, but some people miss the traditional styling, so if you tap this now, you can access it. Fantastic, let's move on to the next tip. All right, the next quick tip is, let's go to up to a folder, and basically if you create a folder, you can tap on that folder and you can actually color code that to make it more distinctive uh, based on your style. So if you were actually working with a finance folder, you could give it a green color so that would denote money. Uh, let me tap this again. Let's just keep blue over here for Google. And the other thing you can do with the folders is instead of dragging and dropping individual apps into the folder, you can tap on this. You can tap on add apps and you can pick an app and it will go right into the folder. So that's a Google folder. Here's Google Drive. Let me tap on that and click add. And as you can see, it goes straight into the folder so you don't have to worry about dragging and dropping, which could be a pain in the ass every now and then. And let's talk about one more thing while we're here. So let's go up to any app over here. All you wanna do is slowly press and hold on the app and it brings up a menu for every single app. You can move apps, 
you can remove the shortcut you can uninstall the app right from here uh, you can actually tap on app info which will take you into the actual app detail screen from where you can do a lot of stuff we'll talk about those in some other videos as well and uh, again if you tap and tap and hold slowly you can also tap this and this allows you to actually pick multiple apps and you can actually put them into a folder so I can say create folder and as you can see now it puts them all in a folder let's just say test for now let's do a color code and now we have a folder so very easily and of course beyond that if I tap and hold again just to give you more examples tap on select multiple items and again if you select items you can do other things like you can remove them all at the same time you can uninstall them together or like I just demonstrated you can do a create folder so these are some very useful UI features that make life easy all right so let me go back out and move on to the next tip and by the way if you have an AT&T Verizon or T-Mobile versions of the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 or any other carrier phone uh, if you go into your uh, app drawer you will see a bunch of bloatware so like AT&T folder right here so if there's anything you don't need here again you can press and hold on that individual app and simply disable that app so that app actually disappears and it doesn't bother you anymore the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the messages text messages so here's a text message right here it's something we use a lot so it only makes sense to customize it a little bit so if I go into this text message here as you can see it's a white background and everything just looks very basic what you could do is you can customize the background if you so desire so go back to the main screen go into the settings here and then go over to where it says backgrounds you tap on that and that allows you to pick a different background um, for your uh, background images and of course if you had any pictures in your gallery okay so let's say you download a picture from the internet or maybe you have some pictures that you took of your friends or your dog or whatever you can tap this it will go into your gallery and you can put a picture from your gallery right on your text messages now when I go back out it looks much more interesting it doesn't look as bland as a white background the other thing you want to do is you know go back to message settings go to the font size disable this option this is using the phone's font size for your text messages and now you can actually uh, increase or decrease the size of your text messages uh, based on how what what feel, looks good to you so if I go back in here as you can see it's nice and big so you can see it easier if you want it to it only applies to your text messaging app now obviously the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 is a very large phone you have 6.3 inches of display space um, and sometimes when you're holding your phone with one hand it might be a little hard to actually use the phone with just your thumb the good thing is there's a unique software feature built into the Note 8 that can minimize the entire phone not the actual phone obviously but the display it minimizes the display and you can now reach everything with one hand let me show you what I'm talking about this is something I use on a daily basis so go to the settings go to advanced features and then go into the one-handed mode when you go into one-handed mode you just enable that guy and at the bottom here says how do you want to reduce the screen size you can either use a gesture or you can tap the home button three times let's use the tap the home button three times feature so now if I tap this three times it's going to minimize the display so one two three fantastic and of course uh, if you are right-handed or left-handed you can adjust the uh, justification so I can tap this button here it'll come this way or I can tap that and it will go this way but let me bring it back over here and now as you can see I can operate this phone as if it was the entire phone but I can access the whole thing with my thumb I can bring on the notifications panel and everything else App Store whatever you want to do and you can always tap this settings button it will take you back into the settings it's a quick shortcut and you can disable it by uh, you know just tapping on that or what you could do is you can tap outside the area of the actual screen right here and that brings it uh, re-maximize it to the full screen absolutely beautiful option and the next thing I'm gonna have you do it's a hidden feature uh, let's go back into the settings It's something I want everybody to do because it actually makes sure that your phone runs at optimum condition at all times so go into the settings and scroll all the way down to general management tap on this thing 
and then go into reset and then at the bottom it says auto restart so basically if you read the description it says optimize your phones by restarting it automatically once a week alright so if you enable this what you could do is you can tap on this also just one more thing I want, I want you guys to be aware of uh, you will always some menus they're gonna give you a button on this side there's gonna be a little line like that and then there's gonna be some text on this side you can enable the uh, menu option over here with this button but you can always tap on the text to go into the details okay so auto restart is now enabled what you want to do is you want to pick a time and a day so if you go to this one you can do um, you know 4 a.m. maybe when you're sleeping and then pick a day just once a week is enough click every Monday so every Monday at 4 a.m. the phone is gonna restart and that's just gonna make sure that the phone is running at optimum condition something I recommend everybody do alright and the final tip I'm gonna give you guys is something that I use on a daily basis all the time I've been using this on my s8 s8 plus and I'll be using on my note 8 so go into the settings and go into advanced features tap it and then somewhere here is gonna say finger sensor gestures tap on this thing and if you enable this what you could do now is you can use the fingerprint sensor on the back of the device to pull down the notifications panel let me show you how that works so here's a fingerprint sensor if I pull this down notifications panel comes up if I pull it up it goes back up so take a look at that swipe down it comes down swipe up it goes up okay an absolutely great way to bring down the notifications panel if you so desire and that brings us to the end of this video I hope you guys learned some new great tactics to better enjoy your note 8 now make sure to subscribe to Saki tech and give this video a thumbs up and of course if you do use Instagram or Twitter follow me on both at Saki tech online guys have a fantastic day and make sure to drop any comments questions or concerns down below in the comments section